I know other people have this job of playing Bloons Tower Defense, but whatever. I can play this game. Well, I mean, anyone can play this game. Well, I mean, I'm stupid. Also, that was a good draw. One is just um, uh, to finish up a stupid Odyssey because I'm smart. And anyway, I just need the stupid 50. All right, team set, we're doing this. So let's see if it's vaguely possible to beat this. Wait, this is half cash. <sighs> this is gonna be a nightmare. As you know, I hate nightmares. I'm not sure if I'm in the real deal for trying these tech, for trying out to do this, but uh, but since I can spend so much time sitting here while I'm waiting for my fries to continue cooking, yeah, steak fries, they're good. Also, speaking of steak fries, very steak fries. Jetpack Joyride 2. Uh, apparently that's in soft launch. I remember seeing um, something really... I think I remember seeing Fruit Ninja 2 in the app store. I was like, wait, they made this? I touched it for like a couple seconds. Saw a couple of things and I immediately left. Oh crap. See, this is why you gotta be active while you're playing balloons sometimes. You might not know when something's gonna go wrong like that. Also, you might wanna know what my, nin my monkeys are, but uh, I'll show that at the end of the video. Anyhow, I tried to record a video with my sister in tow to um, uh, mess around playing dumb multiplayer games, but uh, unfortunately she just wasn't feeling up towards it. Also, I've still been considering doing it. I can't speak today because I need some more water. Also, what else? That's right. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone hates them. Simple enough? Yeah. Pretty much the reason why is because, well, people hate each other for insulting the thing they like. Like how I consider Celeste not to be perfect. I still really like it. I'd at least give it 8.5, but once I start to lose my marbles, then it goes down to like 8.1. Like, games that have a lot of hard things, how I consider them is basically based off if I lose my marbles or not. No, well, I mean, if I go, if I get upset. Yeah, that. If I get upset, then I'm probably going to start disliking it, but that's just my anger. And also, all Celeste stuff, I just can't be bothered with the story. Don't kill me. I know you're gonna kill me because of us. Oh, it's a perfect game. Uh, have you played Super Meat Boy before? Didn't think so. Also, play Ghosts and Goblins. If you want a genuine rage video, then... <laughs> play Ghosts and Goblins. The moment Cameron says, Games that make me rage? In that community tab. It's so easy. Anyway, yeah. Stuff like that. Also, speaking of opinions and games I'm not very fond of, uh, Shantae. I'm not gonna be completely negative on it, considering I did that, um, Shantae video a long while ago, but, uh... Just to be short and clear, uh... Seven Sirens is extremely flawed, and I might die. Yeah, they're trying to leak. That was a mistake. Anyway, so, Seven Sirens... Everyone started to nut themselves over the game because, well, everyone's horny. Well, I mean, we're all horny for something, okay? Same applies to me, okay? Look, we're all horny for anything. Don't try to hide it, because I know you guys too well. Anyway, this is not good. Uh, I might be dead, so I'll try it again. Tax shooters, these things are so good. Well, I mean, until you leak way too many balloons, that is. Honestly, I'm a little too rusty at balloons, so there's that. Thank you, audio bar. Didn't realize this. Thank God. Anyway, might as well just play this game again. I still love this game. No! I didn't mean to hit that button. Also, by the way, I'd like to mention something to you. Speaking of bullcrappy advertising related to gacha games, uh, I saw it on the SGM subreddit, and apparently advertising exists. Crappy. And thank god the audio's off, or I wasn't gonna get copyright to hell. Anyway, uh, I think it was something related to Reg Fortune's stats in that game, which was complete crap. Because... Because Just Kitten, I believe, is a crap variant. I occasionally hop back on this game. I don't consistently play it. Come on. There you go. Anyway, yeah, this game's just entertaining as hell. 
They have both current speed limit. That's piss easy. Also, it's so easy to accidentally get out of a different thing. Anyway, my fries were almost done. So it's a pretty big uh, we'll be right back moment coming up uh, by now. Even though I dare not touch the fries, at least I know they're good. Also fact, even though I'm totally not a weeb, one time I tried watching Oron, and let me tell you, I did enjoy most of that, except from the, I stopped it for some reason like episode 12 because I just got bored. Like, I'm not sure how I got bored of Oron, probably because there's better stuff out there. Also, dude, get out. Also, about the factor of, um, what was it again? Oh yeah, uh, the, the Haruhi and Crack Attic Land, aka Shit Parody. Like, Isabel warned me about that episode and I didn't listen back then. Probably because I'm brain dead. <sighs> Pretty shit. The anime community would agree with me. But you know, I just can't get into anime, probably because I'm more used to laughing than being in serious stories. That's just me, okay? Hmm. Also, this game has that perfect vibe of like, new ish Which is why I don't like the old animation of Super Meat Boy. Well, well, I mean, Meat Boy Forever was also great in its own right. Actually, it wasn't perfect, but uh, I'll tell you something about it. It's not trash, okay? It's not absolute trash, but the gameplay is just subpar, or it's just average. And like I was saying about Seven Sirens, which I was still playing Blooms when I was talking about that, but uh, what was it again? Oh yeah, that game's pretty average. The tier list of good of how good the games are goes as thus. I believe it's um, uh, Pirate's Curse number one, Half Genie Hero two, Risky's Revenge number three, uh, Seven Sirens four, and Shantae one is five because the Shantae community agrees the first game is shit. And thank God I have something to agree with them. Well, I mean, it's pretty all right in some places, but it has so many flaws that can be just registered as a shit game. Seven Sign Runs is number four because, well, and this is the main topic, it's because, well, it's so subpar. Like, seriously. There's so much. So, yeah, pretty much what I was talking about was how the game was subpar due to issues like pacing, being piss easy, and, of course, well, fetch quests that suck. And, of course, the boss is just dumb. Also, you know how to end a video? Well, I'll show you how to end a video, and it's out of context, so. Shardies!